starting from scratch with your Cisco Business Wireless Network and aren't sure where to start? Look no further. You can start right here. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll demonstrate the initial setup of Cisco Business Wireless, or CBW, 150AX access points and 151AXM mesh extenders. Next. I'll jump right in. Plug in the 150AX access point and let it boot up. Once it shows a solid green LED, connect to Cisco Business Setup. Enter the network security key of Cisco 123 with all lowercase letters. It takes a few moments to join. Open a web browser. Enter ciscobusiness.cisco to get to the start page. Create an admin account. You can choose any name. I'm going to name this one CBW Admin. Enter a password and enter it a second time to confirm. Click the start button. Now give the primary AP a name. I'm just gonna name mine CBW Primary. I'll turn on mesh mode because I intend to use a mesh extender. I'll leave the IP addressing at dynamic, which is the default. You can set a static address if you want to though. Next, it's time to create a wireless network. Enter a network name. I'll call it My CBW Network. I'll leave WPA2 personal for security. Create a passphrase, confirm it, and click next. Look over your settings. If they look fine, click apply. A pop-up states that the primary AP will reboot after these configurations are applied. Click OK to continue. Wait for the configurations to save and for the reboot. This will take several minutes. Once the LED on the access point is steady green, you can connect to it. I see my CBW network, so I'll connect to that. Once you're connected, go back to ciscobusiness.cisco. This time, it's connecting using the self-signed certificate, so a warning pops up. That's expected. This is what the warning looks like when using Chrome for a web browser. Yours may differ. Just go ahead and bypass that by clicking the Advanced button and then proceed to the site. Log in with the admin account you created. It takes a moment for this initial page to load. Everything looks good here, so now I'll add a 151 AXM mesh extender, ME. To do this, navigate to Wireless Settings and WLAN Users. Go to the local MAC Addresses tab. You can see the MAC address of the 150AX that I just set up is listed. I'll click the Add MAC Address button and then enter the MAC address of the 151AXM mesh extender. The MAC address can be found on the back of a device. Enter a description. Leave the others at default and click Apply. Save the configuration by clicking the red Save icon at the top right of the screen. Plug in your ME and wait for it to boot. Be patient, it takes some time. Once it's ready, go to Monitoring. You can see it's now showing two access points on my network. To see more details, under Network Summary, click Access Points. On this screen, you can see the primary AP and ME. Click on the mesh extender and see that it's connected and working. There you have it. Your primary AP and ME are up and running. Now is a perfect time to check for firmware updates. An update can ensure you're running the most secure and up-to-date version of the firmware. Not sure how to do that? Check the link in the description for details. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.